Okay, so we've got the thigh mount section completed and the belt's gonna slide smoothly through the thigh mount section. So at this point, we need to take the time to determine where we're gonna do the hip slung portion of this pouch. Okay, so we have our template to tell us where the top of our backer is. And we have some of these scrap one inch pieces that are supposed to overlap the hip slung pouch. But let's take a look at how they were designed before. So this is one of them with the curved element in there. And so the one thing you want to make sure of, whatever dimension you've decided to do, if it's an X, if it's a V, if it's straight up and down, or if you've got this nice swooping curve, you just want to make sure that you're attaching to the part of the pouch that's furthest to the edge so it holds flush to the leg while you're walking around. And then make sure whatever you're doing to accommodate the attachment, whether it's going straight up or out, allows any parts that need to move to move and any parts that aren't supposed to move to be stitched together or riveted together in fixed position. So what we're going to do is we're just going to copy the same slider. This is a curved piece of leather that was cut earlier. And we're just going to take it off of the assembly so that we can test it out on the purple piece. All right, so this is our master curve for our template. And things we need to think of are one, where is the back of our part? And two, how does everything line up, right? So we have all these components and we know that they line up sort of like this, but what we don't know is where everything ends. So the first thing we're gonna do is start tagging down where we need to be on this curve, right? So we have a nice uniform curve and we're gonna need to use the chisel to seat where we want that piece to meet. And we wanna make sure that when we do so, our piece isn't so tall that it exceeds the height of our pouch. So we wanna make sure that we get our strap down low where we want it and that the top fold of our pouch doesn't go beyond where we expect. And then we want to make sure that the spacing looks correct. And the problem with this is if you bump anything, you end up having to reposition things over and over. And that's okay. Just know that you want to take the time to get it right now. Because once you start, <laughs> you don't want to end up regretting the decisions you made because you were in a hurry. So we're going to bring this down a little further, maybe like so. So once we get these three pieces stitched to the leather, right, the purple part of the pouch, then we can dictate where we want these other ends to end, to terminate, to get stitched into the purple section. So we're just making sure that that's all lined up in a way we find satisfactory, and we can always trim off this excess once everything has been punched. So one last check against the template, making sure the sweep is how we intended the sweep to be, and then checking to make sure that we're satisfied with the position of the leather that's going to capture the hip slung element. So the first thing we're gonna do here, nail down the middle bit, because we know exactly what we want that to look like. Okay. So we're going to start right there. Perfect. And then making sure that our alignment is still good. We're going to get that curved element. So I'm turning my chisel to a slight angle. And then again, checking my alignment and turning my chisel to a slight angle to match that of the curve of the leather. Okay. And so the only thing to consider now is will I want one more stitch beyond the quad that's going through the one inch piece? And the answer is most likely yes. So what I'll do on the purple section is just seat my chisel one to the left. And one to the right. 
so. And the same with the middle one to the left, and one to the right. And one more time to the left, and one to the right. Okay. And so that's going to allow us to stitch slightly beyond the leather, lashing down these ends. We don't want them to flop around. So we can switch to the time lapse and then stitch it all up and move from there. Okay, so now we've got the base of our hip slung strap mount stitched down to the back of our pouch. And what we need to do is we've slided our piece of curved leather in to make sure that it'll fit smoothly. And we're gonna give ourselves a little bit of room just so it's easy to feed that in. But now, since this dimension is already defined and we have the actual part that we can fit everything to, we're going to take our chisel punch and just line it up. Not so that we're so snug that we can't get motion, but so we have a little bit of motion. And the trick here is we want to make sure that we don't go beyond the range of what we know is the edge of our pouch. But we do want to have enough room to slide our strap in smoothly on the hip slung part. So we're just going to seat the chisel so we've got a little bit of room right there and just hit and we're going to do that for each piece of the hip slung pouch mount. So we're going through both the black and the purple making sure that the chisel is embedded into the wood block behind. So it's always good to check and make sure you can find wherever it was you did your punching, okay? And then once again, because we go slightly beyond our cuts, we need to find where our, our holes line up to either side on the purple. Making sure we're lined up. One on either end, right? So there's, and then we want to get one more. Just hold that back. Reestablish those because they were a little faint. Then one over. Again, one over. One over. So at this point, we just want to make sure that we can stitch everything together, right? 
So one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So now we can stitch the whole assembly together. And at this point, we now have the opportunity to trim off our excess and then round the corners just a little bit. Okay. So there we go. We're ready to do the remainder and we'll switch to time-lapse for the stitch work. 